Up next, Pat's eye on Emo. What did the head cam capture this time? It's a view you won't see anywhere else. Hi, it's Pat McGibbon. I'm here to show you a little bit more about the Hanover Mesa uh, Fairground site, some of the things that make it unique for a, fair, for a fairground and for a show like this, Emo 2011. Let's walk down the aisle here. There's uh, a lot of noise going on here, and we have this going on at IMTS as well. And in the middle of this one mile square facility, there's a number of uh, little parts like this. Wow, look at this guy right here. Let me see if I can get him to... <laughs> so, no matter where you are in Hanover Mesa, there's a wonderful place to, to sit down, have a little sausage, a little bread, some butter, plenty of places to eat, plenty of places to relax, and a little bit of calmness uh, outside the madness of what we call Emo 2011. Now here is a uh, structure that was created back in the, uh, in the year 2000 when Hanover had one of the world fairs here. There's a lot of unique things that were built to support the, uh, support the fairgrounds at that time. So this walk just a little bit more, you can see a, a little better picture of uh, how it's supported. It's an open air, go ahead. It's an open air uh, facility and uh, they've had machines there in the past. Right now it's being boxed up for a, a, another particular show, but uh, uh, you'll see it used in the, in the, in the future. We'll go walk down this direction. And there's another part of the uh, buildup for some of the fairs they have here. They've got uh, some unique topiaries here with trees square trees uh, and no we don't get square fruit off of them but uh, as you look over here there's another treatment for wood uh, that was put in with the 2000 World's Fair as well but what's really fun is right down here the green cones the grass cones of uh, Hanover Mesa you can see one here and as you look back through here uh, almost a mountain range of uh, of green cones and I asked and there are truly they're ornaments that were built with the uh, again with the World's Fair in 2000 this whole side of the the park was uh, improved significantly for that particular World's Fair with the wood treatments the wood pavilion we saw and now with uh, the grass cones well that's the end of our quick peek at some of the things that came about here at Hanover Mesa during the World's Fair of 2000 that have had an impact on the way we have emo here in 2011 the Exhibitor Workshop is the absolute best way to make sure you're prepared for IMTS. The workshop is going on the road again, coming to six different cities in January and February. So choose your city and complete your free registration today. Register now and put your IMTS investment to work. The best way to plan your visit to IMTS 2012 is to first visit IMTS.com. It's the optimum way to make the most of your stay, driving you to all the advanced technology and processes you've come to see. The new features at IMTS.com include an interactive exhibitor directory and floor plan to easily pinpoint exhibitor locations. The IMTS.com online exhibitor showrooms have complete information on each of the 1,200 exhibitors. Customize your IMTS itinerary with the My Show floor plan, here you can create a custom list of companies that are exhibiting at IMTS 2012. Make notes on those exhibitors and print a highlighted floor plan to help you make the most of your time at IMTS. Plus your agenda will also be accessible on kiosks throughout the show. The international section has everything on visas, registration and representative offices around the world. Add IMTS to your Outlook calendar, arrange your visit through Trip Assistance, and pre-plan your tour through my show. IMTS.com is your ticket to a more efficiently planned, more enjoyable visit to IMTS 2012. Be there. <laughs>